leadership, community service, aerospace and STEM, emergency services, wingmanship. This is the Captain Bud Jackson Composite Squadron. Good evening. This is Cadet First Lieutenant Coda. And Cadet Senior Master Sergeant Logan Hawthorne from the Captain Bud Jackson Squadron. And our video will give an overview of Biomed and Cal. So what is Biomed in the first place? Biomedical engineering combines bio biology and engineering to medicine and healthcare, producing biomed. Now specifically, there are a lot of ways that biomed relates to aerospace. The first one is pretty obvious, astronaut suits. For astronauts to even go into space, their sp suit needs to be sustainable for humans and be able to protect us from space obstacles like radiation. Now when astronaut is actually in space, there are a lot of things that they need to take into consideration. Your immune system might get hyperactive or depressed. Your optic nerve, which controls vision, can swell, which can definitely mess up your eyesight, and also overall vitamin deficiency. So now let's dive into the factors in space that affect an astronaut's body. The first factor that we're going to be talking about is microgravity. So microgravity is very weak gravity, and it affects the muscles, bones, and also fluids in your body like blood. Bones and muscles get weaker in space. On Earth, the gravity here pulls down on our muscles and bones, so we have to work hard to overcome that. So we're pretty strong. But in space, we don't need to overcome anything to move our body, so our muscles and bones get weak. For our bones, every month that an astronaut spends in space, they lose about 1 to 1.5% 1 of their bones. This doesn't seem too bad, but any bone loss is bad. Also, there is a high risk for bone fractures because your bones are literally dissolving. Next up, we're going to talk about... Um, fluid shift and the body and how bone dynamics play a role. Fluid shift. Bodily fluids tend to move towards the upper half of the body near the heart when in space. This often makes a person's space look like they have bird legs. Bone dynamics. Often the misconception is that bones are set calcium are set calcium pillars that do not change in structure. But thanks to our scientists, now we know that the statement is completely false. In fact, when in space, the bone mineral density tends to reduce, increasing the risk of fractures. Circadian cycles. Space light causes disruption in one's circadian cycle, otherwise known as the sleep cycle. The aspects of the body that affects include brain by wave activity, sleep by wake cycles, by temperature, and hormone secretion. Now, we'll go into radiation and how it affects the body. There's different types of radiation, but here we'll focus on the more dangerous one, ionizing radiation. This is basically atoms without electrons, and it moves through things and knocks the electrons out of it. This can have super dangerous effects on the human body. There's a handful of effects that this radiation can have. The first one is damaged DNA, which increases the risk of cancer. The radiation can also harden and narrow arteries. Because of this, the blood can't flow through as easily, which can lead to low blood pressure. This is the end of our presentation on biomed and aerospace. We hope you learned enough information to get a broad view of how biology is actually very important in aerospace. Thank you.